All right, everyone, welcome into the second doubles video. After the first one I made had good feedback, I decided why not do another one? I have two cool teams to use today. In the first video, I advertised my water bubble Dracovish. I said it would be really cool, but we didn't get to use it in the battles that we played. And so I made this new team completely centered around water bubble. And I'm gonna switch over to the poker paste here. We have our Politoed with Drizzle, of course, but we also have Belly Drum. This is because of this gold duck here. We can psych up the belly drum and then get our swift swim boost from the rain. We're holding rhino berry in case of grassy glides from Rillaboom, that's really the only thing. But I'm just messing around here. Gold duck with psych up, belly drum, swift swim. It will be really, really fun to use here. We also, of course, have this Rockwinid to entrainment the water bubble onto our Dracovish down here. That is just like it was in the first video. Um, this part is not centered around Water Bubble. So this little combo here with the Halucha and the Tyranitar was recommended to me in the comments of my last doubles video and I thought it was really cool. We use Entrainment from the Halucha to give Tyranitar Unburden, and then we hit it with an X Scissor to activate the Weakness Policy, which then gives the Unburden boost. And of course, Halucha also gets Ally Switch, Coaching, so I thought those just made a lot of sense to put on as well. And that's essentially the rundown of the first team. And so I will switch back to our showdown tab here. And this team is a VGC 2021. This strategy with the Darmanitan, I did not come up with it. I'm sure you will all figure out who came up with it in just a few weeks. But either way, we have our Darmanitan here. Again, with a weakness policy, Protect. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, Unseen Fist with Urshifu goes through Protect uh, contact moves. And so we use Rock Smash on the Darmanitan once we have our Protect up. We get our Zen Mode, we get the Weakness Policy, and we can Dynamax because it's VGC, and that's the game. You can only bring four Pokemon to VGC, and the only threat, which is a real threat to this team, is honestly my opponent Dynamaxing on turn one, because then that can also break through my Protect. So that is something to watch out for. We have Ndidi here to act as support for priority moves because this, this Mon is really fast, but we still don't want priority moves since it will be a minus one defense and really low health because of the Rock Smash. We have Whimsicott to help out with that Tailwind, of course. And then our last two Mons here are just Torkoal and Charizard. In case the whole strategy just fails, we have these two Mons to hopefully clean up and they are always a good pair. And so with all of that out of the way, I am simply going to lead off with our VGC team because Doubles OU, that's what we started off with last time. I promise we will get the Water Bubble Dracovish in this time, but let's start off with this. I'm going to lead straight off with our core Urshifu and Darmanitan. I don't see all that much threat of priority. There's the Weavile with Ice Shard and the potential quick attack on the Terrakion but it's not scary enough. I would rather just go Whimsicott and get a Tailwind up. So we go our Whimsicott, and then for a final Mon, I'd say Torkoal more than anything else, just as a placeholder. This team is not really put together fully. I just want to show off this Darmanitan and Urshifu. Now we are up against two fire types, which means they could want to just target the Darmanitan off the start and I doubt they would feel the need to Dynamax since one fire move definitely kills it. And so because of that, let's just go for that standard Protect and Rock Smash. We don't see a Dynamax from your side, absolutely perfect. There's our Rock Smash, there's the Weakness Policy, Will-O-Wisp, that does not matter at all. And Zen Mode activates. It doesn't activate just when you hit 50 HP, you actually have to wait until the end of the turn, so that's another reason why Protect is really, really good in this scenario. And what I see here is Rock Slide. Oh yeah, what is your speed? 147, 205, that's it. Rock Slide. Now, yeah, I don't see any need to Dynamax here. This is, this is the other good reason why Rock Smash is useful here. We can lower their defenses, so it acts as a helping hand in itself. You see, there's our Rock Smash, dealing good damage in itself. You know, we're burned, we can still do 20% to that Lapras. We take it down with a Rock Slide, the Sceptile is near dead. Flareon honestly could have something like Quick Attack, which would kill at the range that we are at. And so that makes me honestly really scared of it. However, 
Oh, however, we have this thing called Dynamax ourselves. And then we have our Rock Smash here. Do we see a Dynamax from the Flareon? No, we just see a Protect. That's interesting. I'm not sure why you would have chose to go into Flareon in that case. Yeah, we still do 80% to you. Granted, you really didn't have much else to switch into. You just had that Blacephalon, which we now see out on the field. There is really nothing I'm scared of here. So let's just go for our max rock move on the Blacephalon and a rock smash on the Flareon. Flareon's down, Blacephalon's down. That was a beautiful game one. We get to show off this Darmanitan in a really good light just off the start. There is that Darmanitan Urshifu core in action. I hope you all enjoyed that. It's a really cool set that when um, whoever, whoever it was that told me about it, I was like, yeah, this, this thing is really cool. It can fit on any team. I mean, these four mods here in DD, Whimsicott, Torkoal, and Charizard, they're all placeholders. You can just put this, this core here on any team. Keep in mind, Zenmo Darmanitan is not allowed in doubles OU, so it does have to be in VGC, but that is the only place you can use it. I'm going to do the exact same thing. There's the Protect. I don't see a Dynamax, just an ally switch, giving us a free turn, a free weakness policy, but you have exactly what we have, and it goes straight through our Protect. Now, I know I've edited this to make it a lot shorter, so this is probably the third battle you're seeing. There were so many battles after that first one I won, where it was just Dynamax first turn, Dynamax first turn, um, Urshifu is breaking through the Protect, and it was awful. I couldn't show off this Darmanitan at all. So I am so tired out of this set. And while it can be really versatile and all this praise that I'm giving it, it is hard to make work sometimes. I'm sure you all could make uh, better four members as placeholders on the team. But yeah, no, this thing is hard. Protect, Rock Smash, let's do it one more time. There goes the Protect. My opponent also goes for Protect. Electroweb, we are living that. We get our own Rock Smash off. There's the Weakness Policy. We do a lot less than normal thanks to the Intimidate from the Crocodile, which is really good for us. It means that we can set up our own Dynamax, get rid of the Crocodile, which is much more scary than the Regieleki at this point, and go for a Rock Smash because this Urshifu is gonna be dead either way. You switch right out into the Politoed. That shouldn't affect us because we went for the Ice move, I'm pretty sure. And we did, but against the Crocodile, so that was a good switch by my opponent. Let's get our Hail right on out of there and go for a Max Flare on the Regieleki. I'm not scared of the Politoed since I doubt it can even kill us. Even though we're Dynamax, we just have just over 50 HP. I'm, I'm honestly not all that worried about it. And out goes the Politoed right back into the Crocodile. You miss the Thunder because we have the Sun up. Boom, there goes the Regieleki. Heat Wave, we miss our own Heat Wave. We get hacks so much here. It's ridiculous. So back out is the Politoed. Let's go straight for Max Hailstorm. Crocodiles Intimidates do not matter to us. I'm gonna switch out into Charizard here. We already used our Dynamax. Charizard can go ahead and die. It really doesn't matter. The Darmanitan gets hit either way. And yikes, this battle turned right around super quickly. My opponent's saying GG, I'll say GG. And yeah, there is absolutely no way to get around this. We accept our fate. And with that, I'm going to switch over to our actual cool team. All right, so here is our first battle with this new team. I'm gonna lead off with the Halucha and the Tyranitar because this core here with the Unburden Weakness Policy Boost is a really, really cool one. I wanna get it off right from the start. Let's use our Entrainment. So I will just go for a Rock Slide, Unburden, you set up a Coil, and that honestly will really put a... Oh. I don't like to see that. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's super, super scary. And so 
even though, yeah, even though I really want to get rid of this Zygarde here, getting rid of the Alcremie, oh god, it's hard to say, why don't we just flinch? That just seems like the best play, to flinch the Zygarde, let's do that. Here's our Rock Slide, get rid of the Alcremie, 16% to the Zygarde, and I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, you are learning from the best right here, you are absolutely learning from the best. Now watch this. Ally switch, man, I can't believe that worked. Th no editing too, no editing. This guy is not lying. Th th I swear, I'm not recording the voiceover after. That just happened. Man, I am something else, something else of this game. That Zygarde is gonna beat us anyways, I give up. I give up all hope. There is a Thunder Punch, we can get rid of the Zapdos. What on earth? <laughs> Why would my opponent go for the Halucha there? Unless they seriously predicted the ally switch. Why would you not hit the unburden weakness policy all set up Tyranitar? Man, that is beyond me. But either way, if that was a read, my opponent is insane. And Dracovish can come out here. Porygon Z, that is really scary. I don't want to lose this battle. I want to win this one. I need to. And so let's set up our Ficious Rend here. I want to go for the Zygarde here. Yeah, unfortunately our Citrus Berry is not activated yet, so we will not outspeed to give it the coaching off of the bat. And so honestly, that, that does kind of scare me a bit. I do want to be able to use coaching or something like that. So I'm actually going to switch right off into our Politoed here and... Yeah, no, this is honestly kind of tough for me. I'm just gonna ally switch again and burn a turn. It really doesn't matter here. Ally switch, dark pulse, perfectly fine. You get the crit, it still isn't enough. But the reason I switched off, well, one, to hopefully get the coaching off, which is not gonna work out, but two, to get the rain up for our Ficious Rend. Now, yeah, no, I, I don't see a use for the coaching here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Vicious Rand, we kill it, perfect, we get our coaching off, there's a Dark Pulse, you may have expected an ally switch there, Citrus Berry, it's done, Unburden, we are here, we are ready, let's win this one, there's an Intimidate, now this is where ally switch is a bit too easy, I mean, yeah, no, it seems a lot, it, yeah, it just seems way too easy here, so my opponent could predict it, but... I mean, at that point you have to do that prediction, and we are in the lead in the game right here, so why not do it? Yeah. You don't you go for a fake out anyways, that's fine. Earthquake, yeah, none of that mattered. We are set for this game, no doubt. And there's the stack attack, uh, Ficious Rend, there we go, X Scissor. Yeah, there's really nothing else to do here. So let us take out the stack attack. It actually might have been smarter. Yeah, I, I have seen Focus Slash stack attack before, so that may have been the better play to double down on it. Either way, that is an absolutely gorgeous game for us. Man, that flinch call out, that was something else. Wow. Ficious Rand, and there it is. My opponent even said GG back to me. Man, that game was something, wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna get over that, but I'm telling you guys, that just happened. I said it so confidently, and oh man, it just happened. That is a highlight. Let us lead off with the same exact core. I like what I see here. I know this is a simple beam swoobat into the Como here. And so if you try to set up yourself, I like setting up, oh man, th there's so much I can, I'm thinking of here that's going through my head right now. I'm, I'm gonna do this. This is the stupidest thing. Man, this is man. This is the stupidest thing right here. Oh yeah, it was so stupid because I thought the Swoobot would outspeed me for some reason. I went for the Unburden. Oh god. Throat Spray, Simple Beam. We don't even kill the Swoobat, but the Hail, the Hail doesn't, Hail, whatever it is. Okay, this game, here is our Karma for the last one. Yeah, this is terrifying. What do we do here? What do we- I was stupid and went for entrainment thinking that I would outspeed the Swoobat. 
why on earth would I think that? I knew it was going to use Simple Beam too. But that is beyond us now. You're just going to use your dragon scale sound move. And I don't think there's one thing I can even do about it. Yeah, no, I'm just going to go for a little switch off here. You go for a protect. So you could only have... Oh. Oh, Psych Up goes through that too. Well, I th I, I'm going to say GG and I'm just going to head out of this battle. I'm sure that was a really cool set that some of you all could use. I don't want to, I don't want to fight against that at that point. That was the game, no doubt. And so this time, why don't we get our Water Bubble Dracovish doing some stuff. I'm just going to lead off with the two months that we need to do it. Uh, barely even looking at my opponent's team, we see dry skin from the Toxicroak. Yeah, I would say for his Ficious Rend off the rip. And we do outspeed it anyway, so I'm not all that scared. I will do exactly that. Bolt Hunt, I'm, I'm more scared of a Tail Slap from the Chinchino, honestly. A skill Link Tail Slap. So I'm gonna go for that and an Entrainment. There's our 100%. Thunderfang, we are living. We are not getting flinched. Water Bubble. Dracovish, turn one. And there is the Toxicroak, but I mean, that's not helping you now. That is not helping you by any means now. Fake out, oh, sure, okay. No, that, that will help because now, okay, I was wrong. Yeah, fake out, I forgot that I got that. Now, Halucha here, there's nothing we can do. I was, I am just speaking way too much right now there is something we can do after yeah dracovish still does outspeed the halucha so we can't do it right now but if we can set up this entrainment here there goes your uh whatever it is there goes your water resistance your dry skin out comes the hitmonlee that is such a free fake out that there's our ally switch Let's see, let's see how this all pans out. Fake out on the Halucha. So it looks like the alley switch will not even be able to come out. Fake out goes first. That works perfectly fine for us too. Vicious Rend, Ninetales. I'm, I'm interested why you didn't go Ninetales to start. Because Leafeon then would outspeed me and all of that. Interesting. I don't know why you would let Leafeon take the hit like this. Um... Yeah, no, that's a bit off. There's the nine tails, so yeah, there that makes more sense. And Leaf Bay does get the crit on us. There goes our coaching. And that just proves that in no way am I here to be criticizing my opponent's plays. Let's get our Tyranitar out here, get rid of that sun and rock slide. Yeah. Yeah, I think I wanna do that. The Leafeon a crit, uh, Leaf Blade could really be threatening to us. But man, I want to show off our other set in this battle too. Nasty plot. I love the fact you're letting me set up here. And flinch. Oh man. And then the sand takes it out. We are just on a different level. When I press that recording button, the showdown just, it just gives it to me. Man, another flinch there. Hitmonlee comes out. We do not get our unburden boost yet, but I am about to get that just now. Except you go for another fake out, that's perfectly fine. The Leafeon could hit us with a Leaf Blade. As it does, it doesn't get the crit. Weakness policy, unburden. There we go. And look at our stats right here. 486 speed with that attack stat. Rock slide one more time. Let's go for an ally switch to save ourselves from any Leaf Blade. It doesn't matter. We <laughs> There's no way. I mean, it didn't matter at that point, but Showdown, did you have to do it to them? Did you have to do it to them? Man. Let's go for one more battle. Wow. This video is something else. And it looks like it is now time to see how this team fares against a Trick Room team. This is not a moment I have been waiting for. We don't have Taunt on anything but we do have a hypnosis which i'm sure we can make some use out of 
there is the Slowbro and the Orangaroo, either of them could be using the Trick Room. I think it's the Orangaroo most likely, so that's what I'm going to target with the Hypnosis. Hypnosis may actually be better than Taunt here since I know a lot of Trick Room users are holding that Mental Herb, which will then ignore the Taunt. But yeah, honestly, there isn't much I can do if I do make this play correctly and we hit. Get the entrainment, please don't go for Trick Room yourself. Belly Drum, oh, I like that. Belly Drum, Trick Room, whatever Symbiosis was. You obtained a Quick Claw since your Citrus Berry. That's a really cool looking set. Wow, really happy we landed our Hypnosis there. Now we can start spamming our Muddy Water. And you get a Quick Draw. There's a Drain Punch. I don't think it will help you though because look at that water bubble damage right there. I said this is water bubble Dracovish. Scratch that, water bubble Politoed is what we're after. And it looks like my opponent did not want to see it. There is a turn two forfeit. So I'm gonna end the video off here. I really hope you all enjoyed these battles. I will be leaving these teams down in the description if you really have the conviction to use something like this, be my guest. Please go ahead and leave a comment of any other doubles ideas you have for me to do in the future because these doubles videos are really really fun. The more I get into the doubles tier, the more and more I like it. So yeah, leave that comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, it really makes a difference on the channel, it really helps me out, and I will see you all for the next video. Thank you so much for watching to the end.